Hey guys, um, yeah, I know it's been a while, sorry. Long story short, COVID happened, and then I had to move, and now I'm actually in the process of moving again, <coughs> and I'm sick, <laughs> which is just a head cold, it's not COVID, thankfully, but it is kind of in the process of kicking me in the butt right now, so if you hear anything, oh, don't, it's just, yep, see, yep, it's just that, but long story short, I'm going to show you how to bring models from Hero Forge into Tabletop. Now, ta now Hero Forge thankfully has made that a lot easier since the people started realizing they could do it with STL files. But just in case people don't know, Hero Forge is a website that lets you create your own models. Typically, what they before this kind of big pandemic happened, it became when a lot of other things occurred. Hero Forge used to just let you make models, and they don't you would order them, and they get shipped to you, and they'd be actual custom 3D models. And they were beautiful models. Eventually, they started giving out STL files for a cheaper price, and then you could take those STL files, you could run them through a uh, software like GIMP, and then you could bring them down, and then you could use them on Tabletop. Now they've made it even easier, where you just got to download a file that's Tabletop ready. Though I think you do have to have a subscription to them to do that. Otherwise, you only have access to the STL file choice. Either way, both are fine. I'm going to show you kind of like what both of them are, are like right now. So if you only have the STL files, if you don't have a subscription with Hero Forge, your models are going to look something like this. Now you can change them so they won't look so glossy. That was an um, addition on me. You just go into this, go into material, and you choose what material they're made out of. They're made out of wood. Let's try. Import glasses, even glossier. Wow, okay, oh, never mind. Um, wood, there you go, no gloss. Um, but these are typically what they made, and these are all made by my players, not the same player, of course. And then these over here, excluding this one, this one's a mistake. Literally, it's floating in the air. Um, that's actually tabletops, that's actually Hero Forge's mistake, and not mine. Um, so. These are what it looks like if you if you have a subscription to them and you can get the tabletop ready ones. For one, something you can easily notice, you have color, finally. So you can bring color into it, and this is Happy Subby Fingers. He's not drunk, you are. That was his inclusion, not mine, but he's not wrong. Um, and then we have here a guy who didn't get named. Oh, that's Focosa. Why did I name you? Who else got named? Actually bothering me. I think his name was Lolly. Um, yeah, because they called him Lolly and game. Make fun of him. Uh, anyways, way off topic. So it's really simple. You go to Hero Forge website. It's H E R O F O R G E dot com. Hero Forge. Really simple. Go there. Play with the colors. Play with the models. Make it all however you want. Even if you are only going to get the STL, you can still add color to your model. It just won't come up in the STL file. Um, there's ways to do it. I'm not good enough, but there are ways to add the color back using GIMP software. I don't have that capability inside of me, but some people probably do. If you know how to work GIMP better than I do, you probably do. Um, then there's things like this you can do where this guy actually has two different states. And I'll show you how to do this in just a moment with another model, but you basically go to Hero Forge, you make two models, one that's like this, it's this model, then you purchase that model, then you purchase a second model like this, then once you bring them in the tabletop, you can turn them into a state where you can switch back and forth between them. This is an Asimar Paladin, so whenever he uses his wings, he gets to actually see them in game. It's really cool. He seems to really enjoy it, I like it too. Or this guy, who is just has three different states. Now, the reason why he's floating is, um, I think this is when it just kind of came out and a bug occurred. There was a bug going around, and you can get it, you can probably get it fixed, honestly. I just don't, I just think we didn't care enough. But when they sent out the tabletop ready, um, STL, it wasn't. It was like a bug to it or something, and now it just makes it float, and I can't for the life of me get it to fix. I've tried through GIMP, and I just can't figure out what exactly is making him float. Um, 
but just like just like uh, our friend riser here Procoso has a few different states didn't know he had a shield one we haven't used that one and then here's the one where he's using his fire it's pretty cool all right so how to bring them into the game first off you gotta go to objects components clarify one more time so if you download the stl file you still have to run it through gimp that is an extra process you have to do if you're not buying a tabletop ready file you can't just take that stl and throw in in the tabletop if tabletop doesn't do stl they do obj files you have to go to gimp and change it to obj you also have to do a few other things it's not as simple as just changing it to obj and then, and then exporting it out but let's see where 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 where, where? Where is it? Where is it? Custom. And then... I think it's a model. Yeah, model. And then you get this. You go to wherever your file is. Where did I put it? Let me check. That's where I put it. Hold on. It's being kind of annoying. This is probably the worst part about tabletop. It's having to find your way around everything there it is there we go so we got Clem we'll go cl we'll grab Clem C you always pick cloud upload once it's done you import he's gonna come out big but he's not actually that big this is just an STO file no, this isn't one of the um, tabletop ready files. I actually don't have a tabletop ready file on me at the moment. I deleted the ones that these were referenced to. Just shrink them down. And he's ready to go. It's as simple as that. He can go just as small as everybody else can. I just have him a bit bigger. Um, And then say you want... One second. To do the state thing. Let me go back. You go back to objects, components, custom, model. This time we're going to grab Clem Combat. Because Clem's a monk. He likes to wear his suit. He likes to look proper. But when he's in combat, he looks a bit different. I think it just fell to the fucking floor. That's an, I'm happy that actually happened. Because that's a thing that can happen. But if you, like, 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 you saw what I just did. All I do is expand to where I can grab him. And then he'll, he'll stay up. After that, shrink him down to about the same size as him. And then, if you want states, just kind of click. And then you go to create states. Have both of them hovered over. Create states. Simple as that. And now you have states. That's kind of the whole video it's a really short one i'm sick i'm sorry i can't do more i just want to get something out there and i thought this was really cool in this case some people don't know about it if you have the tabletop ready files like i said you do the same thing you have to skip the little gimp thing you have to do you have an stl file you buy it from hero forge then you have to run it through gimp i'll um i'll put a link in a reddit page there's a guy on reddit who goes through everything you need to do he's very descriptive about what you need to do it's not much it really isn't really all you're doing is changing the ratios of how big the object is and then using a decimate tool and getting rid of some of the pixels so the tabletop can handle it and then you export it to, as an obj and then you do the same thing i just showed you on tabletop and he'll come out looking like these or this this one actually looks a bit better but i think this is because it has less going on I think that's one thing to notice though. Um, the more you have going on in the STL files, the more it kind of comes out washed or cluttered. But if you have the tabletop ready files by subscribing to Hero Forge, not sponsored, please sponsor me, Hero Forge. Um, then you have, it's a lot, they come out a lot cleaner because Hero Forge is doing it with their own files. Of course, they're going to come out cleaner, but what are you going to do? I bet if you're better with GIMP than I am, you can make these better, or maybe even as good as these. 
I'm just not good enough with GIMP. I have the bare minimum requirements here. But I'm um, trying to think if there's anything else. No idea when I'm going to do the next video. I'm just kind of winging it right now. Like I said, I'm still in the process of moving even after I had to move the first time. COVID is not fun. Neither is anything really when it comes to America right now. Can we agree on that? America's kind of going down. Um, not having the best time. Also, my green screen's not working. My camera creates this like this weird like pixel like right around here. I can't get rid of it. That's another problem. Um, it doesn't seem to be able to wrap around its head where I am and where the green screen starts. I I don't know what's happening with my life. I can't get anything to work. But I'm here. I made a video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this helps people. This is really cool to me that we can finally start getting our models in. It's been a while. We've been able to do this for a while, but I, this is my first video, you know, talking about it. But um, it's awesome. Please recommend it. I think the the files are about. I want to say the SDL files are like eight dollars. I could be wrong. <laughs> I haven't bought any in a while. But um. This is something for DMs too. If you ever have like that BBEG that your players are finally about to fight, buy it. Have him be, you know, his own personal model. That would be so cool. Anyways, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, I guess. <laughs> Bye.